Today, I'm gonna to answer a few questions about being an environmental engineer that I have received in the comments of what is it like to major in environmental engineering and then also to get a PhD in it. The first one is, do environmental engineers have the opportunity to do computer science, to do coding? And the answer is absolutely. The age that we're in right now means that almost every scientist now has to know a little bit of coding to get farther in their study and really understand what's happening in these complicated processes. So for me as an environmental engineer and a researcher, I use a couple of programming languages, including R for making figures, doing data visualization, and doing statistical analysis. For research, you have to really understand if your findings are important and if they are significant in comparison to, you know, whatever else was found before or what wasn't found. You have to prove that this is something that is real and that is, you know, important. So you have to do statistics and using R is just another tool to do the statistics faster and quicker and have make more comparisons between groups and all that good stuff. Other computing software that I sometimes use include Python, um, very similar. And then when I was in undergrad, I used MATLAB, which it usually requires more of a linear algebra knowledge. People have also asked me is how much math do you need to know? And that really depends on what you're trying to do. In undergrad, I was doing MATLAB processes for simulating earthquakes or natural processes that occur in our earth. Understanding that and understanding the math associated to it was very important to do the coding that I needed to do. And that kind of just changed because of the interest that I'm in now. So yes, there's tons of things that we do for coding, even within Python or R, doing machine learning. That's a very scary term for some people, the understanding of machine learning or deep learning, because it's like weird, complicated processes of like doing super supervised versus unsupervised learning. But that is very great for you when you're doing big data analysis and just comparing events to see if there are correlations between things that are happening. So yeah, there are tons of opportunities to do coding. There is a need for some basic knowledge of math. Um, but really depends on what you're working on. Uh, and there's even opportunities to do computational, chemi-informatics, bioinformatics. Those all come into play for environmental engineers. Yeah, this was just my quick video of just debunking the myth. Yes, environmental engineers are coders. They are computer scientists. They do data science. If you're interested in this field and you want to get involved in computer science work because that will still open doors for you if you want to go work for Google or Apple or Facebook, the sky is the limit if, even if you're just interested in environmental engineering for an undergrad degree. Definitely consider this as a future major. Thank you for listening and definitely don't forget to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe while you're here. So thanks.